True Directional Movement might be one of the best mods ever made for Skyrim, and it was just released this week. Well, there might be one better mod. I will protect you with my life. This mod helps Skyrim inch nearer to the general direction of a complete game, with actually functional action combat included. Not to understate the fun of vanilla Skyrim's system of clicking left, and uh, left clicking. It gives you the ability to lock onto targets with the push of a button, letting your camera in movement track in relation to the NPCs. And True Directional Movement's release is one step closer to proving me right on my theory that the mod community will make the next Elder Scrolls before Bethesda does. While you're locked on, you are now able to move and attack in any direction, making combat feel so much smoother. Finally, I have the tools I need to show off my epic gamer reflexes. Help! <laughs> Playing with this mod definitely gave me big Zelda vibes. Are you serious? <laughs> Love that game. In some ways, the lock-on feature makes Skyrim's combat easier, since maneuvering around opponents is more effortless. And in other ways, well... Projectile auto-aiming is also included in this mod. If you're interested in playing your mage or archer, more like you're in a fast-paced action game. It really reminds me of when I was a kid in my Korean MMO days. Getting owned by children who were parented with the mentality that it's somehow okay to give your 11-year-old $200 to buy 10 variations of pay-to-win bikini armor. Sorry, little kubits. You're not rich enough to be good at video games. God damn it. The mod also includes nifty health bars over all the enemies in combat, in addition to boss health bars that give dragon fights in final battles much more dramatic weight. The mod also gives you a free camera while riding on a mount, which really does improve the experience. In my opinion, this feature really shines with the addition of Combat Gameplay Overhaul or TK Dodge. It makes dodging and attacking feel so much more natural, giving you the chance to build up more combos in a less awkward way than in vanilla Skyrim. And it might be worth trying yet another Skyrim hardcore mod, Yash, as well. An RPG-like overhaul which makes leveling and defeating more powerful enemies much more challenging. Mixing all of these mods together should create an extremely different and probably more enjoyable and engaging combat experience. And it's great if you, like me, enjoy winning. Dude, this guy's level 50? Oh no! Sometimes you have to come up with creative solutions to problems. Go naked, Lydias! Defend my honor! No mercy! Easily bested with pure skill. Thanks, Lydias. I couldn't have done it without you. There is also a feature in this mod that lets you enable head tracking on friendly NPCs as well, if you want to immersively stare at strangers or lovers. I'll never unlock from you, baby. This mod also has many more options in the mod menu that I took the time to just kind of skim and not really read, but I bet there's some helpful stuff in there. Actually, I highly recommend tweaking around with the lock on distance specifically because it definitely made my life easier when I doubled that number, especially fighting dragons. I will say this mod did take some getting used to. But overall, it is definitely sticking in my load order. I've always said that the one mod I wanted more than anything is the one that revamps all of Skyrim's combat to be more like a modern action game, and installing this mod definitely gets me closer to that dream. If you want to see more of this mod in action, check out the VOD of my most recent livestream where I play around with it for several hours. And of course, remember to endorse this mod if you enjoyed it. Yes, my Thane?